Have you ever felt lost with so many technologies and conflicting advice on where to start in web development, wondering what the essential steps are to become a successful web developer? Curious about the common mistakes beginners make and how to avoid them? Well, you're in the right place. Today, I'll share a step-by-step -step approach to learning web development from scratch, as if I were starting out today. I'm Pete, and I've been a professional software engineer for over 12 years, and my passion is helping beginners find their path in programming. The first thing you need to learn is the basics of HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. Think of it as the skeleton of your web pages. This is the language we use to define the content and structure of a website. Imagine you have some text that needs to go on a website. We need to define what's a heading, what is a paragraph, and so on using HTML. You don't need to take a deep dive just yet. The goal is to convert simple text into basic HTML document. By the way, as a bonus, I will also leave a really, really well-structured guide to help you with what we will discuss today. So make sure to watch all the points in this video to make sense. Now, let's add some style. After HTML, it's time to learn the basics of CSS or cascading style sheets. CSS is how we add style and layout to a page. It takes our content and makes it come to life with colors, layout, and specific design elements. Imagine CSS as the skin and clothes for your HTML skeleton. Once you grasp the basics, try working on your first project, like a portfolio website or a resume page using HTML and CSS. Great! Now that you've created your first project, Congratulations, by the way. Let's dive into JavaScript. JavaScript is the main programming language of the web. It is essential for adding interactivity to your websites, making them more dynamic and engaging. Start by learning the fundamentals of JavaScript, including variables, data types, loops, and functions. Don't worry about all these terms. This will seem so simple like ABC to you once you start learning the basics of JavaScript. These basics will give you the foundation you need to build more complex features. Once you're comfortable with the basics, move on to DOM or Document Object Model Manipulation. This is where JavaScript truly shines, allowing you to change the content, structure, and style of your web pages in real time. I will explain what I mean. Imagine being able to create interactive forms, update content without refreshing the page, or even build a game that users can play directly in their browser. Your next project could be something fun, like a simple browser-based game, an interactive quiz, or a dynamic to-do list. I think my first project was also a to-do list app and it worked. For those who prefer structured learning, I highly recommend checking out courses on Codecademy and Zero to Mastery. Codecademy offers interactive tutorials that guide you through the basics of JavaScript with hands-on practice. They provide a variety of projects that help you apply what you've learned in real-world scenarios. On the other hand, Zero to Mastery offers in-depth courses that not only teach you JavaScript, but also guides you through building full-stack applications. Their courses are designed to take you from a complete beginner to a job-ready developer. Plus, their community support is invaluable when you have questions or need motivation. Check them out by clicking on the links I share in the description below and make sure to be consistent and focused on your learning. Now, it's time to level up your skills. Revisit HTML and CSS to learn about responsive design, CSS transitions, animations, and grid layouts. I recommend you master grid and flex in CSS as they are the best way possible to style a website or a web application. You can also explore CSS frameworks like Bootstrap and Tailwind, which many companies use. That way, you can tick an extra point as a candidate. Now that you're familiar with front-end development, being HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, it is time to explore the world of backend development, which is the part of the website you cannot see, but is essential for making everything work smoothly. The backend handles things like server-side logic, database management, and overall application performance. First, start by learning how to make simple requests to a server using JavaScript. This involves fetching data from external sources and integrating it into your website. APIs, or application programming interfaces, are a great way to get data from other services and display it on your site. For example, you can use a weather API to fetch the weather data and show that on your web page. Before diving deeper, it is important to get comfortable with the terminal and basic git commands. The terminal is a powerful tool that allows you to quickly access and manage files on your computer using text commands instead of a graphical interface. It lets you navigate directories, create and delete files, and run programs efficiently. Git is a version control system that helps you track changes in your code and collaborate with others. 
It allows you to save different versions of your projects so you can easily go back to previous versions if something goes wrong. Additionally, Git makes it easier to work on the same project with other developers by merging changes and resolving conflicts. Mastering the terminal in Git will streamline your workflow, making your coding process smoother and more efficient. You will be able to handle complex projects with ease and collaborate effectively with other developers. If you're not interested in diving deeper in backend development, feel free to skip to the next chapter of this video, otherwise keep watching. It won't take long. Next, start learning backend coding with Node.js and Express. Node.js lets you run JavaScript on the server side and Express is a framework that makes building web applications easier. You will learn how to handle server requests, manage routes, and even create your own APIs. Once you're comfortable with the basics of Node.js and Express, it's time to dive into databases. Databases store the information your web applications need. There are two main types of databases, SQL, meaning Structured Query Language, and NoSQL, not only SQL. SQL databases like MySQL and PostgreSQL are great for handling structured data and complex queries. NoSQL databases such as MongoDB are ideal for managing unstructured data and scaling your applications. By learning these backend technologies, you will be able to create full stack applications that are powerful and efficient. With the basics of backend development down, it's time to build your first full stack project. By the way, full stack is when using both front-end and back-end technologies together. This could be a game with a global leaderboard, a productivity tool that uses a database, or even a personal blog with user authentication. Plan your project by outlining the features you want, such as user authentication, data storage, and interactive elements. Break down the project into smaller tasks to stay organized. Use your front-end skills to create a user-friendly interface then implement backend functionality with Node.js and Express and connect your application to a database. Deploy your completed project to a cloud service like AWS or Google Cloud, making it accessible to all users in the world. Document your project with a readme file that explains its purpose, technologies used and how to run it. Add these projects to your resume highlighting any unique features or creative solutions you have implemented. Share them on GitHub and your portfolio to showcase your skills. By building and showcasing full-stack projects, you will demonstrate your ability to create comprehensive web applications, making you a strong candidate for development roles. You don't need a lot of projects, just a couple of quality projects will do the trick and make the recruiters get some interest in your application. Now it's time to start learning libraries and frameworks which are important for the industry. I would start with React.js as it's the most popular and marketable skill. Convert your previous projects into React and start applying to jobs right away. Next, learn a bit about computer networking. Understand what happens when you type a URL in the browser. Key concepts include IP addresses, HTTP and HTTPS, and the DNS system. You can learn all this for free simply by searching each term on Google or YouTube. There are some really great free resources out there. If you need any help, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you want to take your learning to the next level and really stand out from the crowd, you can learn the basics of cloud computing, which allows your code to run on remote servers. Start with AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure. Learn how to deploy your web application to the cloud and explore tools like Docker for managing environments. Also understanding web security is crucial. Learn about common attacks like SQL injection and cross-site scripting and how to prevent them through input validation, HTTPS and data encryption. Now, as I promised in the beginning of this video, it's time to discuss some of the common mistakes and pitfalls that can slow you down during this very well-structured plan. Mistake number one is jumping straight into complex projects. I've seen countless beginners make the same mistake over and over and I know it's tempting to dive into ambitious projects, but it's really important to start with the basics. Build a strong foundation through simpler projects, learning fundamental concepts and gradually tackling more complex challenges. That way, you're ensuring that you won't feel overwhelmed in this journey. The next most common mistake is overlooking the importance of practice. Consistent Practice is key to mastering any skill, especially programming. Dedicate some time to coding regularly, even if it's just for a short duration. Just make a plan and try to stick to it as much as possible. Now, the third and most important mistake that even advanced and professional programmers do is ignoring the power of documentation. 
It's easy to skip documentation, but it's a vital resource. Who knows a programming language better than the person who wrote it? That's right, no one. Explore official documentation, online tutorials and forums to understand concepts, troubleshoot issues and enhance your learning. That way you will probably learn each concept and stay up to date with what you're learning. As you progress, focus on the areas you enjoy most and delve deeper into those. Remember to learn effectively and avoid common mistakes. Watch this video next to continue your journey and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more coding content and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.